Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to run batch jobs or batch files or shell files using JMeter. So by default JMeter comes with a uh, uh, functionality of running the batch or shell commands uh, using our JMeter script. So for that, on test plan, right click, add thread group, first add a thread group. To adding a thread group, we need to go right click on a test plan add thread group threads and thread group next right click on the thread group add sampler from here select os process sampler os process sampler os process sampler so once we select os process sampler we can see the what's the command you want to try and which in which uh, working directory you want to run your commands and here we have the uh, options to add our comments, our uh, arguments to the command. So let me, um, just um, I want to check my uh, JMeter version, not JMeter version, Java version. And I want to check the Java version. So what is the Java version? Uh, 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 uh. It's 1.82.202. Okay, now what I will do. I am running the command prompt cmd and I am adding uh, uh, commands and arguments here. So forward slash c it means like uh, it will open new command prompt and execute the command what we are giving here and uh, it will exit after running the command. Command prompt will be uh, closed after uh, entering the command. So I am sending each uh, argument as the new uh, new new value new parameter so generally we use like this java iphone version so each space character we need to mention it as a separate parameter in our command prompt in our uh, jmeter so now i have done with my command now uh, right click add uh, i am adding a visual history to see the results Click on the sampler. So uh, now the, the default directory, working directory, I didn't mention any directory. So this is the default directory bin, and I have not added any environmental variables. So if you want to add any environmental variables during your execute, during your running the command, so we can add environmental variables here also as well. And uh, we can execute the command Java iPhone version, and this is the response. So we got the same response what we have got in our uh, 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 command prompt okay so this this is how we can use the uh, OS sampler so we have some points to uh, highlight this command will run in the uh, machine where the gym is running you don't have access from the sampler to run the command on remote machine so if you want to run you with this command on another machine this script and the JMeter has to run in that machine. Then you can start master slave, and you can send your command to run the. Uh, you can send. You can start the script and send your commands in your script to execute in the remote machine, and you will get the response here like this. So if the, the arguments passing is also depends on the OS. So in Windows, it's uh, on every space. It's take as a new parameter and new argument to the uh, command. What you are giving, uh, but uh, if it is same for Linux, so if it is, depends on OS, like if you are trying on Mac, on the Chromebook, or some different OSs, so you have to make sure that first try to execute the command from your command prompt terminal or command prompt, uh, then copy the command here. Copy the command here. So if you want to write the, uh, if you want to read any input uh, while passing to your command from a file, then we can use the standard input. You can select a browse, click on browse, and you can select a file here. And if you want to write the output to any of the file, then you can uh, use the option of uh, standard output, standard output. So if, if you have any error, so that if you want to run that error to a file, then we can write, uh, we can give the file name if we have any uh, error. And if you know, we can give the timeout for the command prompt as well. So we can stop the execution of the command uh, after the milliseconds what we mentioned here. So if I give it to 100, 100, after 100 milliseconds, still it's running, the is running, then it will try to stop the terminate the process. 
So using this uh, OS process, it is not specific to Windows. It depends on the OS what you are using and you are uh, you know, using. So like if you use Linux, then it will you can make use of this template uh, uh, to run the uh, Linux commands as well. Linux uh, bad job. So during some during our load test, some of our load tests, a load test execution. So we on based on the applications, we have some bad jobs to run. So uh, in, instead of running it manually, we can schedule this uh, process OS process sampler to run our bad jobs at uh, periodically by configuring it or by adding a think time and a uh, uh, scheduler infrastructure group. So this is how we can we can use uh, OS sampler. Thanks for listening.